So I'm Jessica Gillis and um, this is Matteo. Matteo is the chef here at uh, Chow Time in the Kitchen and I run the front side of things. So I work with um, employees and clients and I write the menus and then I get to hand them off to Matteo and his crew to cook. So 11 years ago, we started as Chow Time Catering. Mm -hmm. And that's been, that's been a nice run. Um, and we still do about, a bit of that. Right. Yeah. Uh, but at about year six, we kind of started questioning what happens now? Where do we go? It worked. We're making money. We have two um, little kids coming and we need a new plan for something a little more sustainable and so we, for our bodies and our lives, and so we opened this space in this dining room um, to have a place to cater to folks on a more one-on-one -on -one basis so that you could come for dinner or come for a class and not have to hire us for a party for 50 or 100 or 200 people. Um, yeah, after six years of catering, we had we had a pretty nice client list developed, and some of those people would be repeat users, maybe multiple times in a year. And so, you know, it's that kind of that lure of the restaurant world. You have a storefront, you have a door that they can just walk right into. Our door is here on uh, Unity Street, 207 Unity Street, um, where we opened this dining room to be a multi-concept room. We wanted it to be a space where people could gather for private events. Uh, we wanted to have a space where people could come for cooking classes and expand their repertoires for cooking and a place where we could do dinners our way and have a restaurant that was a little bit different than the norm and uh, that would draw folks in for a night and an experience of sitting next to new people, um, eating a menu that they didn't know ahead of time and that they don't get to choose from. Uh, so the dinners are called incognito for that reason, because they're a mystery, because you come here and you don't know what your experience will be like and every time it should be different. And we hope you'll meet some new folks from your community and eat some great food and have good conversation. Um, we refer to it as old-fashioned social networking, because you, you sit in uh, a communal fashion. The tables are 14 feet long mm -hmm. each, so they can seat up to 16 people at each table. We can accommodate 44 guests in, a, in an evening. Like she said, no menu ahead of time, no hints. <laughs> so to that end, we're asking people to trust us. Mm -hmm. And and we do intend to push people from what they might come to a restaurant and normally order, uh, so that we take that piece of the equation out. And, and we do ask people to invest in us, uh, an investment of time, an investment of money, an investment of trust. But, but overall, we hope that what we've uh, accomplished in the evening is sight, sound, you know, full senses, a full satiation of all the senses, not just a meal. We use the open table system, opentable.com, as the way to secure reservations. Uh, it captures their information, it controls the number of seats we have to offer, it builds a customer database, we know how often they've come, all that good stuff, so they can make a comment in the maitre d' line of what their dietary restrictions are. Mm -hmm. uh, so Wednesday evening, for example, we had incognito, and one guest came and she had a pretty significant uh, sensitivity to gluten and sugar. Um, so instead of creating a menu just for her that would make her feel different from everyone else, we actually created a menu for all 44 people that met her dietary restriction. Um, and that was, so that was part of the, the, the creative moment, you know, in creating this menu was, okay, we have this woman coming, mm -hmm. she's a good client, you know, she hasn't been here in a while, let's do something, let's do something special for her. Let's not make her feel like she's different. And that became a part of how we wrote that menu. So we do wine pairings for our menus, and now we're doing beer pairings for the menus as well. So I believe Beer Week is coming in August, right? So we're kind of gearing up for that, uh, paying a little more attention to beers. We have always featured Boundary Bay beers on our menus here at Incognito and cooking classes. Um, they're most often they're the most often requested beer locally <laughs> at weddings. And Boundary Bay is awesome to work with. Just so. great. We love being able to, to focus on local things in general, but having a good beer that is local and tastes great is a plus. Right. You know? sure. We have confused people with our names. They come by our building. We don't really have a sign. So we are a little incognito in general. So, so are we chow time or are we incognito or are we in the kitchen, which is the name we've given to the space and to our classes. Um, we're all those things and because we're all so confused about how many names we have, we haven't figured out what to put on the sign yet. So you can just look for us on Unity Street. We have a two-story dark red building with a great big spoon for a door handle. It's a good giveaway. <laughs> or you can find us online, worldwideweb.chowtime.com. <laughs>